Hi there, Jamie here today at Teachers Tech. Hope you're having a great day today. Today I wanna to show you how to use Microsoft Planner. So if you have a team plan that you're working on and you want a collaborative tool to help you out, to help organize everything, take a look at Microsoft Planner. So with it, you can create your plan, assign tasks to different members, chat about those tasks, and even have charts to see how everything's progress progressing along. So and you can access this in a bunch of different ways, whether it be online with the web, or through Microsoft Teams, or even on your Android or iOS OS device. So let's start today on how to use Microsoft Planner. So first of all, I just want to mention that Microsoft Planner is not a free app from Microsoft. You do need to have a Microsoft 365 business subscription. So if you're part of an organization, whether it be a school or business that does have that, you'd probably have access to uh, Microsoft Planner. If you're looking for a free app and from Microsoft, take a look at Microsoft To Do. And with Microsoft To Do, this is more of your daily planner uh, to kind of keep things organized. You can share uh, different task inside of this too and it is free all you do need is a Microsoft account I have a tutorial on this one uh, so I'll put a link to that below in the description and up above in the card but for today's tutorial I want to focus this on Microsoft Planner and show you how this could be a great tool to help organize collaboration in your team so let's talk about where we can access Microsoft Planner. And I'm just on uh, task.office.com right here. And I'll put the link down below in the description along with everything will be timestamped so you can jump around in different parts of this video. Like I said, you do need your Microsoft 365 Premium Business or School account to log in, but you can go ahead and hit sign in here. I don't usually log in this way to it. I tend to go through just my office, my Microsoft 365 office page here and I sign in, uh, but it will get you to the same point. Uh, the other, before I log in, I just wanna point out, you can add this to your Microsoft Teams. So if I go and, and pop up Microsoft Teams here, and if I'm on one of these and you wanna add Add planner to one of the tabs in this space just go click on add at the tab and it used to be called planner in here so if you type planner you can see that task by planner so I'm going to just choose this task by planner and to do this is where I would be adding it to my Microsoft team and so it's a great place to add it so I could uh, if I just call this demo task here and I'm going to hit save and I'm going to point out when I log in to my office and go to uh, plan, uh, Planner, you're going to see that this created this, ta this demo task in there so I can access it through different places. I'm not going to be working from Teams. I'll just be working from the uh, login. But remember, you can add it to your, uh, to your mobile device, whether it be Android or iOS, and you can work from there too. But I'm going to go ahead and get logged into my uh, Microsoft 365 account. So I'm just back here at my Office 365 login page and I'll put the link down below too, but it's just office.com. But if I go ahead and hit sign in here, I'm just gonna put in my uh, credentials, my email and get to the next page. So when I'm logged in here into my office.com, uh, I'm gonna go ahead and go to all apps because you can see some of the apps here, but I wanna go to planner. So I'm just gonna click all apps here and you can see planner is right here. So if I go ahead and click on planner, it takes me to this. And I just wanna point out that I created that example one, the demo one inside Microsoft Teams, and here it is here. So it's singing across uh, different ways to access this planner. So let's go get started and creating some organization inside our plans. If this is your first time logging into Microsoft Planner, you're probably not gonna see anything under the pinned with recent or all. I'm just in the Planner Hub. You can see everything looks pretty simplistic in this. There's not, you're not gonna see all these drop downs, and that's one of the things I like about this Microsoft Planner. Uh, if you have been assigned to a uh, project or a plan, you are gonna see it probably in recent at all. Maybe you didn't even know that uh, you were assigned it, but it will be there, or you could check right, check right here where it says assigned to me. I'm gonna go ahead and start a new plan for this demo here today. So I'm just selecting new plan. And at this point, I'm gonna give this as a name. And hypothetically, this is gonna be just about creating a new website for, uh, let's say my teacher's tech. So I'm gonna just type in new website. 
like so. Now, uh, this is a nice option to have right away is that if you're using Microsoft Teams or if there's an existing group, you can go ahead and select that and choose what group it is. So I could go ahead and pick Teachers Tech right here and it would add it. Uh, I could create that plan and it would add it be added to that group. So I'm not gonna actually go back here because I wanna show you a few other options here. Now, I could create this public and if I create this public, I can go ahead and create the plan or project and then I can go and email the link out and then people will be able to uh, click on it and join it or else I could make it private and add the members that I know I want to be a part of it. And you can see under uh, options here, you drop down, you have uh, just where you can put a description on it. So I'll just say create new website down here. Now, in this example, I'm just gonna create this private right now, and I'm gonna go ahead and just select Create Plan. So now we have the plan created, and now I can show you how we can start to organize the different things to do and buckets in it. So I haven't added any members yet, but it's very quick to do. So remember, I created this project or this plan as a private one. If I look up here beside my name, I have members. If I drop down here, I can quickly add, start typing, and people from the organization that I'm part of will pop up in here and I can quickly add them. Notice if I hover over and I can also remove them if I want and it starts to show how many people are part of this plan. Now I do want to point out when you're creating, and I'm just going to use this as an example, if I go back and create new plan, it is uh, very quick if you have that group already created uh, and you add to an existing group then you're going to make sure that no one's missed as part of that group and it can save you some time that way but I'm going to be working from this private mode here today where I can add my members. Now the next thing what I want to do is uh, start to break down this project or plan into different parts so it's going to be a new website and these here so you can see I have to do add a new bucket. Uh, what I'm do first is just put add bucket here and I'll just put in for an example I'm gonna write graphics so uh, when I just hit enter off of that now underneath graphics I can break this down further by having more tasks so what I'm gonna do is make a few different buckets here and I can also move tasks from different buckets as I complete them depending on how you have this set up because you could have this set up for uh, doing a lot of different things so if I was creating uh, maybe a multiple uh, lessons on Microsoft Excel and I was putting all the different topics in I could be having them under one bucket or maybe it's other uh, different ones of different Microsoft products it's going to be up to you how you uh, start to uh, create this with all the different buckets but I'm going to create a few more here so what I want to do in my next one is going to be about post and the these are going to be post ideas and I'm going to just hit enter and I'm going to move to this next one and now I'm just going to put uh, in approved post because they're going to go from ideas to approve posts when I uh, know when they're ready and then we've decided that that's what we want to work on. And next, we're going to put in uh, ads. So there's going to be somebody uh, for ads here that uh, will be part of the advertisement. So I'll just put ads here. And I'm going to leave it as those four things just to kind of keep it uh, simple. If I go back, you can see at the bottom, I can scroll and I have these two different ones. So now, uh, if I go back to, let's say the graphic and add a task. Now the first one could be what's gonna be the task. It's gonna to be to create a header for the website, let's say for a graphic, and we could set a due date on this. And what I like also, this is where you can assign. So uh, let's say I'm gonna set a due date and I'm just gonna jump ahead and I'm gonna jump ahead two weeks here out uh, on it just like that yeah I'll leave it today like that and then I'm gonna assign it so based on the people that I've added already I can go ahead and click and assign it to them so now I can assign that task and that person's gonna know that they have that task and the due date on it so let's go through a little bit more what we can do so let's go back to the task that I just created here for Ashton. I signed it to him about creating the website header. Uh, you notice I can go ahead and assign to, if I click here, I could add more uh, to this. But what I wanna do is just click on it. 
So if I go ahead and click on it, notice that I get more options here. So at this point right away, I can add a label and I'll show you why labels could be important uh, for your organization of this, but I'm gonna go ahead and add a blue label here, uh, just like that. As I go through the different options, it shows me what bucket I have this in. I could change the bucket that this is in and this would be good for when I give an example of the post. So if it's a post idea and we have all these ideas and we decide, okay, we're gonna create this post, then I move it to approved and we know we can go ahead. So if I go ahead, I could drop down and move it here, but I can also drag them around too. Uh, progress, I'm gonna say that this is in progress. It started, uh, medium, I'll say this is an important thing for the website is to have that header. The start date, I could add the start date on it. Uh, so I could select today's date and I already gave it a due date when I created it. I could add extra notes here to help the person if there's any extra notes that needed for the uh, clarity of that task. And we can also create ta uh, ta checklists within the task. So as an example, if I just type in item one and I go item two, like so, I could add more items and as the pe person checks them off, they could just select them off. You can see how we could grab and reorder them too if they're going through or delete them. We can also show these on the card. So I'm going to check this here uh, just so you see uh, where it comes at and we can add attachments. So maybe there's this whole sheet that of different instructions or the graphics that we're going to use to embed in here. I could go ahead and click add from a uh, team files you can see. I could go from the computer. Uh, so if I go to my computer, I could go grab, I'll just go grab this image and it uploads to that SharePoint shared site where that will be on it. And I can show this on the card. So any comments? just like that. So if I go ahead and just exit out, notice on this card here, I have all these different things uh, on here that I've added. I can make sure at this point I can go ahead and open it up again. If I do need to go back and edit, you can see how I can quickly change any of those things too. So that's how you get a little bit more into the task of adding more information. So I've added a few more tasks under post ideas here, and you can see I've assigned to Ashton. I could assign quickly any of these to other people. I'll give Kathy one here too. So now what I wanted to point out first was the filters. As you get lots of different tasks in it, you, filters are a great way to find specific ones you're looking for, and you can filter it through many different ways. Up beside the members, I just want you to drop down here and take a look. We could do by keyword if we want, if there's something we're looking for uh, and you knew the word, uh, you could put that in there. But we can also do by dates. You can see by uh, priority. If I drop down, wanted to see the important one. Uh, if I click on it, this was important and this is important. If I want it off again, just click it and that check mark goes off. Uh, we could go by labels. So I mentioned before, you might want to put labels like colors so I know this is blue so if I click blue I can uh, see only the blue one and I have a red one there too so I can show multiple ones too and click off I could go see uh, if I keep going I want to see anything assigned to Kathy so I could go ahead and click on it and then I could go through there so take advantage of the filters that under here to quickly find the task that you're looking for so let's say at this point we have these post ideas and we have them assigned to a few different people and we want to approve one of these posts to actually get start working on. Uh, so let's take this top free video editors. We want to post somebody has, is going to write an article about this. I can drag this over into the approved post. So then I know that these are just ideas over here, but this is gonna be uh, over here in the approved post that the person can take action on. So probably at this time, I might not even wanna add some of the due dates on these until I was actually in the approved post. So what does this look like for, let's say, Ashton? And what I'm gonna do is change accounts here. So I'm just gonna jump over to Ashton's account here. I've logged in. Uh, uh, he didn't create this, this is what I created over here and you can see that here is the plan or the project, the new website. I'm gonna click on this one and you can see the different things. Now, if I go to assign to me, 
he would see the different tasks that are assigned to him specifically that he could go from here. Or else if he goes back, if we go back and just click on the plan, he would see everything the same thing. And this, uh, Ashton has the same ability to move things around. Uh, if that if things were gonna be moved over, he can do it from here. So you have a true collaborative effort at this point. So let's say Ashton uh, would work on this. He opens up and maybe at this one, he says it's complete or he's added comments. So another way um, you could uh, do is have these comments back and forth down below in each task. So if the Ashton was just writing all done, send, and then we can have a conversation between the different group members right within the task if there's something that needs to be added to this. So at this point, I could just close this here. I could create another bucket, maybe it's finished post after this. So if things were gonna go from, uh, you can see this is completed task now, but maybe I have another one I can move over to uh, create another bucket called completed, but I'm gonna leave it just like this and I can see completed ones in here. So I'm gonna move back over to my, that I have from my view and you can see it's virtually the same I can look at a few more things here so if I go to charts I could go and click on this and it gives me more information about uh, you know task left to do not started in progress late so I get this snapshot that can really help the team stay on top of things uh, you can see the different uh, tasks still that are open pushed over to the uh, right here when I have this selected I could go to the schedule and it gives me the idea I can see the header started first but then at this point there was two different things so if I click on it there's the header and then there is the uh, one that is completed now you can see that it's in green and checked off so between the charts and the schedule give you some nice snapshots to see how the team is progressing along with the project so I just want to point out a few important settings inside Microsoft Planner here. And I'm going to go up in these three little dots here. I'm just going to navigate to some more options. And you can see that we can ex things from export plan to Excel. We can add plan to our Outlook calendar. But what I want to focus on here is the plan settings. And I could have showed you this at the beginning, but you can change your plan name here. Uh, you can see you can even change the background. So if I go through, I can pick a different one. So if I was to pick this, uh, you can see how it quickly changes. So if you want a customization, customization of each plan to have a different look, it's that easy to do. Uh, we could go to group. You can see where we can add, uh, change some options here from public to private. We could go to notifications. And this is, could be an important thing. Do you want to send the email to a group when a task is assigned or completed where we can check it? So go through the plan settings, especially if you're working with a group to see uh, how you want things set up or if you need to change things with it. Now the last thing I just wanted to point out and I showed you this at the very beginning I'm just going to open up my Microsoft Teams again and I created the demo one here the demo task and now if you notice all the things that I showed you uh, if inside Microsoft Planner you're going to see that you can create these new things here so if you want the new buckets and the add task they're going to be uh, the exact same way Way to work in here and to go back and do the editing you can make all those same adjustments to it so I hope you like this walkthrough of how to use Microsoft Planner. If you're looking for kind of a lightweight uh, planner option with your organization, this could be a great one to use because it's very easy, intuitive to use and really keeps you on top of what's happening within your team. Thanks for watching this time on Teachers Tech. I'll see you next time with more tech tips and tutorials.